So this video is going, to, is going to be a continuation of u substitution by completing the square. In the part one, I went over uh, the introduction and then I went over uh, the first two cases. And I'm going to finish up the u substitution by completing the square by giving uh, introducing the, the other two cases, the last two cases. So let's start with uh, case C. Case C says that, uh, right here, case C says that, uh, we're taking an integral of a, a linear function over a quadratic function. And when we have something like this, we're going to have to use uh, uh, completing the square. And then we can use u substitution. But these are the uh, cases C and D are going to be the ones that take a while to actually do. And it takes a lot of algebra to do as well. So there's going to be a lot of substitutions involved. Sometimes you have to substitute uh two to three times to get to the final answer uh and this is where uh your algebra skills are going to come handy so definitely freshen up on all of your algebra skills because a lot of this is going to be involved whenever you're using this method of uh, completing the square so let's start with uh case c so let's start with an example so let's say we have uh we want to find the integral x minus one over 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx so we already know we're in this for we're in this form of the integral right so that we know the first step is going to be completing the square so let's just uh complete the square like like how we normally would complete the square so let's do that so we have the uh the function uh, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, right? Uh, first thing we're going to do is try to make everything in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is 1. So we want to factor out a 3 from here. So 3x squared plus... So three. when you factor out a 3 from 2, we're left with 2 thirds, right? Because if you multiply this 3 with 2 thirds, we get 2. Now for 1, if you factor out a 3 from 1, we're going to get 1 third. So once we get that, uh, what we can do is basically get rid of this equal 0 for now. I mean, the equal 0 is going to be still there. But... Uh, we just need to complete the square now. So but we're, but we're going to complete the square within this parentheses. So let's actually make this so we have it like that. Basically, yeah. So when you complete the square, you want to subtract that one third on both sides. Right? We do x squared plus two thirds plus we're gonna do two third over two right b in this case is uh two thirds and then square that and you add that to the other side as well you get two thirds over two squared when you do this uh the twos cancel these twos cancel and then the three comes down to the denominator leaving a one in the in the in the numerator so what we're left with is basically like x squared plus two third x we get one third within these parentheses right then the square of that negative one third plus one third squared this is just simply one over nine so you were saying what x squared plus two third x plus one over nine is equal to negative one third plus one over nine right so this is where you see all that algebra that's involved uh in this uh completing the square so we want this uh, right here in the form a 
times x minus h squared plus k, right? So we know that uh, when we factor this, we're going to get, so this is just simply x plus one third times x plus one third. <coughs> so we can just put this uh, as, we can just write this as x plus one third squared. So x plus one third squared. And on this side, when you simplify that, that's just two ninths. This is going to equal to two ninths. You bring this to the other side, we get x plus one third squared minus two ninths. Actually, not minus, uh, so two ninths. So it's going to be minus two ninths, and then it's going to be plus two ninths. Because negative one third is bigger than one ninth. Right? But you can't forget about that three we factored out. So we had to multiply that three with the entire expression, just like that. So three right there. And that's what we get for completing the square. Now the the big part now, this this is where we're gonna plug everything back in to the original integral and solve so let's uh let, let's do that so this is gonna gonna get a little complicated so let's do this now so the original integral is x minus one over and then we determine this to be three times x plus one third squared plus two over nine, right? Dx. Now our first step we're gonna have to do is set use u substitution. So the most obvious uh, u substitution we can do is setting u equal to x plus one third, right? since it's directly inside of the parentheses. And there's another parentheses, but we're not gonna uh, look at that yet, just yet. We're gonna talk about this part of the uh, expression first. So let's do, let's say u is equal to x plus one third, and du is equal to dx, right? So du is equal to dx. Now, we we see that there's an algebraic function up here with a variable of x. We want to try to uh, use what we have uh, to basically find something that we can substitute for x. And we do have something. We have this equate this expression right here. We can rearrange this expression. So that we solve for our x and we get u minus one third. So we can actually substitute this in for x when the time comes. So so right now we have all the components we need. So let's start plugging uh, all of the stuff into the integral. So we have the integral. So we know x is going to be this right here. So let's write that. So we know x is u minus one third minus one all over so three is still outside we know this is u so we know it's going to be u squared plus two over nine we know dx is du like that so this is what we end up with so far now we just simplify uh like a little bit you just simplify a little bit so let's do that we get u minus four over three over we make this u four like that over three 
we have 3u squared plus 2 over 9. Now that we've simplified it a little bit, like up to this point, now we can use the property of the uh, indefinite integrals where, where it says that we can pull out constants. And we know 3 is a constant, right? This is just simply 1 over 3. So we can pull out that 1 over 3. And we're left with u minus 4 over 3 u squared plus 2 over 9 right now so now we're up to a point where we can actually split this uh this integral into two different uh basically two different integrals so there's going to be a lot of algebraic manipulation right here so now that we're up, we're up to this point let's actually split this so we're going to be looking at this part of the basically this part of the uh expression now so this part of the expression Let's pull this over to the side and do this separately. And we'll plug it back in all in uh, together when uh, at the end. So let's split this up, split this integral. So we have so we have u minus four over three over u squared plus two over nine, right? We can split this by the by the some of the some of the rules in algebra. Uh, tell us that if we have something like this over a one denominator, we can uh split it into two different fractions. So integral of u over u squared plus two over nine minus we have. 4 over 3 u squared plus 2 over 9 so like that you, you can split it into two different integrals basically so now that we've done that now we have to solve both of these integrals separately we have to solve both of these integrals separately so let's start with the easier integral, which is uh, this one right here. So we can use the integral table for this one. So the integral table says that uh, this is gonna be the, the integral one over a tan inverse x over a, All right? So we had to rearrange the equation a little so it looks like that. It looks like uh, what we need. So uh let me rearrange this so let's first let's f first pull out this constant uh four thirds so we get four thirds integral one over u squared right then we have one third squared dx like that so once you get up to this point uh, we know the integral of this is just 1 over a so a is 1 third 1 over 1 third right and that's just 3 Actually, it's not one third. It's actually radical two. Radical two over three. Yeah, radical two over three. Because radical two is uh, radical two squared is uh, two. Three squared is nine. So it's going to be two over nine. So that's what it says. So a in this case is uh, radical two over three. So one over radical two over three. This just flips and we get. 3 
radical 2. Then it's going to be tan inverse. Then we know it's going to be x over a, right? So x in this case, right now we're in terms of u. So it's going to be u over radical 2 over 3. So u over radical 2 over 3. So we know it's, it's just going to flip over. It's just going to flip over. The 3 is going to flip over. So let's rewrite it. So uh, the 2 thirds is flipped over. So it's going to be 3u over radical 2. It's going to look like that. And then, so that's the integral for this part right here. Now the integral for this part. You can do that as well now. So this one is going to be a little bit more complicated because we're going to have to do another U substitution. So I'm going to use a different color for this one. So let's, instead of using U now, we're going to, let's say, we switch from variables of U to variables of like W. So W, let's say, is equal to this right here. U squared plus 2 over 9. So dw is going to be t 2u du and two u du. So what we're going to want to do is uh, look at this integral right here and try to rearrange it a little so that uh, we can put everything in terms of W. So, mm, let's see. So we need, all right, so let's rearrange this a little. Let's write one over u squared plus two over nine, right? And then we have u du. But we know we need, in order to change the terms of the w, we want a two u du. So let's just add that two. Let's just add this two right here. But we add a one half outside so we can cancel it. So we have dw. Then we already have it with w right here. So let's switch to ter in terms of uh, w. So we have 1 over w. 2u du is just uh, dw. Right? Now, once we get to this part, this is simple integration. One. Into integral of one over a variable is just ln. ln. <coughs> so we have one half times ln of w. And let's just put this in uh, absolute value. ln of w. So there you go. That's the integral for this entire thing right here so now that we uh found all these integrals separately we had to put all the stuff together so let me just circle the stuff we're gonna need right so we know we're, we're gonna need this integral right here right we're gonna need this integral right here and we know we're gonna be we're gonna be subtracting these two integrals so let's actually just write that down here. So it's going to be one half ln w minus four thirds three radical two 
tan inverse 3u over radical 2, right? This is what we're going to be plugging in. <coughs> this is what we're going to be plugging in for this entire expression right here, right? And then we're going to, at the end, at the very, very end, we're going to multiply everything by one third. So let's uh, rewrite this on the next page. So let's just copy this up right here. So let's copy this right here. We're continuing, right? So this entire process, the first step, let me just label it. The first step was completing the square. And the second step was right here. Was so actually solving the integrals, right? Uh, plugging everything in and solving those integrals. So uh, we're going to have to multiply all of this, basically. one third so all the integration part the entire integration part of the the problem we did it we did the completing the square part and we integrated uh we got the integrals now we just need to simplify all this stuff and then switch all the terms back to x so mm, let's see now that we're up to here the first thing we can do is basically simplify this expression right here because uh, we can uh, distribute this four third so let's do that so i'm going to keep one third outside like that and do everything uh, within it so one half ln w so when we multiply this we just multiply the four third times the three radical two, uh, the threes cancel, and we're left with minus four over radical two, tan inverse of three u over radical two, and then close the bracket so it's gonna look like that now now that we're up to this part let's continue working uh with this part right now so let's pull this to the side so we want to switch back to x right switch back to x we know for u we substituted in uh let's see So right here so you we said that we substituted x plus one third for you so we know that u is equal to x plus one third then so let's switch back to x real quick so this is going to be four over radical two tan inverse uh three times x plus one third that's where the u was over radical two so that's what we get for this expression right here now for this one right here l one half ln w this is already pretty simplified we just need to switch back to x so first the first thing we would do is switch back to switch from w to u and then switch from u to x <coughs> so we know w was we know w we said was right here u squared plus 2 over 9 so we know w is u squared plus 2 over 9 right now we want to switch back to uh switch back to u now right so what you would do so w is just it's just gonna be the first step would just be one half ln u squared plus two over nine right 
Now we know we want to switch back to u. So u is equal to x plus one third. So when you do that, we get one half ln x plus one third squared plus two over nine. And that's what we get when we switch back to x. Now the next step is putting this together again and then multiplying by one third. So now let's make like a little thing right here by right, putting everything together. So we get one third. So we know it's one half ln x plus one third squared plus two over nine. Two over nine and then uh oh we're subtracting right right we're subtracting so minus four over radical two tan inverse three times x plus one third over radical two so okay, this is everything put together. Final step is just simplifying now. So the final step is just one third times one half and then one third times uh, negative four over radical two. So let's do that. And in red, we're gonna, I'm gonna write my final answer. So one sixth ln x plus one third squared plus two over nine and then one third times of negative four over radical two is just four over negative four over uh three radical two tan inverse three and you know what? We can actually simplify this, this expression right here. If you distribute this three, we just get three x plus one. So we can just write three x plus one instead of this entire expression, which looks a little confusing. So three x plus one over radical two. And uh, yeah, this is what we get and then we can't forget the plus C because you see there's no bounds no bounds This is indefinite. So we add the plus C And this is our final answer for case C Now case D is uh, Similar to case C. So I would recommend just following the same steps uh, That we did for case C for case D and I'm not going to do an example for case D because this video is going to just turn into like a two hour video. So, uh, just, uh, whenever you're solving for something like case D, uh, just follow the steps we did for case C. And the only difference is that there's a square root. So there's no, there's not, there's not really an extra step. It's the same. It's going to be similar steps. Uh, we just need to add a square root in the final answer.